Warning, please do not use or derive concepts from this video to try answering questions and incorporating it into the diagnostic approach to a patient. Hello, this video is brought to you by Animoma. Today we will be discussing our favorite green jumping Jedi that is Yoda. Long ago, in a medical sector far, far away, a baby Yoda paradelia was discovered and published, aiding in the education of sacral imaging. As you can see, the sacral LA represent the ears, the sacral foramens represent the eyes, and the sacral canal and the sacral spinous process illustrate the mouth and the chin. Before I discuss my diagnosis of Yoda's reverse Alajali syndrome, I will have to briefly explain what Alajali syndrome is. Alajali syndrome is an autosomal dominant disorder. It is caused by a mutation that causes a development of fewer ducts to drain bile, hence building up bile. It is associated with cirrhosis and hepatocellular carcinoma. You may also see ophthalmologic and vertebral defects. On vertebral imaging, you may see butterfly vertebra as shown by the highlighted red portion. The blue portion shows what a normal vertebra looks like in comparison. Treatment to improve bioflow is with ursodiol and cholostyramine for pruritus, much like many other hepatic and biliary pathologic diseases. Treatment may involve a complete liver transplant or creating artificial ducts. So now, I will be discussing reverse Alajali syndrome, also known as hyperbiliary duplication. I feel like I'm spelling the word aglet wrong when I'm writing out Alajali from the hit song that was sung in Phineas and Ferb. Don't worry though, this syndrome is much more useless than knowing what an aglet is. You might ask what I'm doing today. I'm going to the whiteboard. The hypothesis is that Yoda has excessive amounts of anomalous ducts located throughout the body, which leads to full body jaundice. His body may have adapted to having a high absorption and low excretion rate of bile. This can cause jaundice due to the excessive bilirubin spilling or just the presence of the extra direct bilirubin. The severity of the disease may be correlated with the enlarged size or number of ducts and gallbladders. You may see extra hepatic tissue. The excess stimulation may cause hyperplasia of the hepatic tissue. Yoda has been shown to display extraordinary physical feats at will which may be due to voluntary release of bile to enhance his physical capabilities at a moment's notice. Overuse of this ability may cause excessive wear and tear on his body, which would explain the slow movement and poor posture. The excessive bile may allow rapid absorption of vitamins, which may initially display hypervitaminosis, but will later on deplete storage supplies. He may present with symptoms of vitamin D deficiency, Paget's disease, and osteopetrosis, if you want to learn more about these diseases, check out my Attack on Titan video. Other vitamins may be deficient as well. Due to signaling from the body, unconjugated bilirubin may build up, which may cross the blood-brain barrier and explain Yoda's abnormal speech patterns. One thing to note is that this disease decreases the likelihood of biliary stones due to bypassing ducts to drain the bile, and it also has a decreased likelihood of complications of biliary stasis such as ascending cholangitis due to the bypass ducts, excessive flow rates, and stimulation. Treatment may include cutting off or clipping the initial branches near the central ducts. This will cause the accessory ducts to die off and be excreted or absorbed by the body. They may also act as anitis for infection, in which case we shall provide with antibiotics. Another treatment that isn't as effective would be to do a partial or full duodenal resection to decrease stimulation of bile release. We may give cholestyramine to excrete the bile as a temporary measure. For severe and refractory cases, a liver transplant may be required. So going back to this slide, it just reiterates what I said and shows an illustration of the theoretical disease that is hyperbiliary duplications. Hence, we will continue with the final portion of this presentation. These are the variations of congenital duplication of the common bile duct if you're interested in this rare mutation. Here are some imaging examples as well. Alright, thank you for watching. Please don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe below.